Kia ora, and welcome to this video. Te aka wawata, or the learning objective for this video is to briefly explain the function of B cells, T cells, antigens, and antibodies. So, what are B cells and T cells? There are two branches of adaptive immunity which involve B cells and T cells. These are humoral and cell mediated immunity. Humoral immunity involves B cells of the lymphatic system. This type of immunity is beneficial for an individual as it allows for the system to develop a resistance to pathogens within the environment. B cells are a type of lymphocyte found within the red bone marrow. During the period of maturation in the marrow, these B cells will begin to develop immunocompetence, which allows them to differentiate antigens from healthy body cells. Promptly after maturation, the B cells will begin to move throughout the lymphatic system, seeking at areas where it is needed. Antigens refer to the types of proteins which exist on the surface of different pathogens. When these antigens are encountered by B cells, it will trigger proliferation to occur, creating mass amounts of effect in memory B cells. Effector B cells refer to cells which are able to mass produce antibodies specific to the antigen it has encountered. Using a lock and key method, these effector B cells are able to bind to antigens and neutralize its effects. Memory B cells are created for the purpose of recognizing the same types of antigens within the body. From this, it will allow for the process of proliferation to occur and a faster secondary response. But in the instances where antigens are able to enter cells of the body, it triggers cell-mediated immunity to occur. Macrophages, which move throughout the body, are able to identify antigens and present them to T-cells. T-cells are commonly found within the cortex of lymph nodes. Unlike B-cells, T-cells are produced within red bone marrow and move to the thymus to mature. The interaction between macrophages and T-cells trigger the T-cell to undergo proliferation by releasing cytokines that enter helper T-cells. This helps to further prolong the proliferation between newly created helper T-cells, producing thousands of helper T-cells, memory cells, and cytotoxic cells. Cytotoxic T-cells will travel through blood and lymph and seek out antigen-injured body cells which signal for neutralization. These cytotoxic T cells will bind to cells with appropriate receptors and destroy them by secreting perforin, a proliferating enzyme. Memory T cells function similarly to memory B cells, where they are able to produce a rapid response to the antigen they are specifically produced to recognize. Finally, regulatory T cells work to maintain and ensure that the processes within humoral and cell mediated immunity occur correctly.